Now this time of year, it's pretty much bang on the breeding season. And now what I'm gonna show you are my top tips to preparing the canary nest pans. Now as with everything that we do, it involves borrowing things from different parts of the house. So, first and foremost, from the children's craft box, is a little tiny brush. From my other half's beauty collection, little bit of cotton wool pad. From the kitchen and under the sink, we've got the decal, lavender oil, PVA glue from the shed, and then of course we've got the nest felts and the nest pans themselves. And now this is a canary room favourite. It's our puffer, uh, and that's got a, a the diametric earth powder in. So what we do is we get all of the nest felts. You can see there's four in this bag now. I'm going to make four nests up. Close the bag over like that. And then with the puffer, we just fill the bag. You can't overfill this. So we just leave that there. Don't need to tie it off, but I'm just going to twist it over. And you can see, you know, there's a lot of the diametric earth gone into the bag there now. I'm going to just leave those on the side while I do the rest of the preparation. So if I pop those down there. Now, this is not for my face, although some may say I may need it. Um, what I'm going to do now is just soak this in neat uh, Dettol. Now, I use the lavender and or orange because an old tale is that mice don't like lavender. Now, when I first started keeping canaries almost 30 years ago, I used to sew the nest felts in. What I found was that the hens would pull at the string underneath and within minutes of sewing them in, the hens had pulled them out. So now I use PVA glue. So I'm gonna pop the glue down. I've got enough on the brush. I'm just gonna push it all the way around the pan and put it around the bottom of the pan as well. All we do now is retrieve the, the pan liners. You can see there's a nice healthy layer of um, dust on them. Now you, you might say, well, why don't you just, you know, put them in and then spray dust? This is really to try and get the dust to soak in. Just on your nest pan liners, uh, particularly with these ones I'm using, I'm using jute this year rather than wool. Uh, there's two different sides to them. There is a crisscross side there, which is the back and then there's a, a non-crisscross side there, which is the front. So literally now, all we do, we put the pan liner over there and we gently, but firmly push it down. We push it all the way around. And you can see the pan liner is now in place. I'm going to give, because I've been holding this, just one last little white round there with the solution and on the back there. So I'm going to set that aside now. Uh, I've got a few more to do. I'm going to set it aside. I'm going to leave it for about 30 minutes or so, just so it gets a chance for the glue to go off um, so that the birds won't pull it out straight away. So there we have our canary rooms top tip for the week.